Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm in a bit more casual surroundings as I thought I would share with you my home office and also give you some storage and organisation tips if you're just like me and you only have a small space to work with. So first off let's start with the chair. So this chair you've probably seen a ton of before. It's the famous Clear Perspex IKEA chair. I can't remember what it's called, but I will definitely link it down below. This I absolutely love because it goes with everything. Um, and I actually use this not only at my desk, but I also use it at my dressing table as well. So I just move it to and from. And the cushion is actually from Primark, and this was a bargain in the sale. I think I got it for like something like two pounds. And it was actually from the Gabriella um, Primark range and it's perfect, I absolutely love it. So next we will go on to this, which is my desk compartment. Now this isn't actually a desk, but I use it as a desk because it perfectly fits in to this um, part of the room. And this is called um, the Calex, I think it is, and it comes in different sizes, but I got this in the smallest, and actually I think it was only like £30, so it's got four shelves where you can store stuff. So I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit more so you can see it a bit more clearly. So as you can see, this has four really big spaces in this unit to fit stuff in. It's a really nice, decent size. And actually, considering this is the smallest Calyx unit that IKEA do, it actually does fit quite a lot of them, so you'll be surprised. So if you have a small space like me, but you still need to have an office space, then this is actually perfect. The only thing is you can't sort of put your legs underneath, but I usually, I'm a bit naughty, I just pop my little fluffy slipper toe onto the shelf here. Um, so this, you can get different units to put inside each space. So I actually have these mint green um, fabric storage units that store quite a lot of stuff in. I've just got sort of photo, photo props in here. The only thing I would say about the fabric ones, these come in lots of different colours, but they do get really dirty easily. As you can see, they're a little bit dirty there. But they also do sort of a shelf unit, so you can get an extra shelf to put in. And they also do a drawer, um, uh, drawers, two drawers, and then they also do a cabinet that opens as well. And I think that comes in plain and mirrored, so you can get it in the different shades. So this unit is the white unit, but it also comes in a couple of woods, black, and I think they're starting to do a lot of different colours as well. But I love the white, because again it goes with everything just like the Perspex chair. So I have two of these down below, but I may change these to drawers. Um, and this one I just store in sort of tech cables and things. Then here I have these two open um, shelves. And this one I've just got beauty products I need to review and then a few books. And then this one I store all my folders. So these white folders are from... Uh, I was going to say Ikea, but they're not Paper Chase, and this one is from Sainsbury's, I got a long time ago, and this is actually an Ikea file holder, um, but it's cardboard, and I actually covered this in copper, and I do have copper paper, I mean, and I do have a video on um, some copper DIY that I'll link down below. So as you can see this fits about four folders really nice and comfortably in the one space. Um, Here is the top of my desk and as you can see I can fit quite a lot on this even though this is a narrow unit. So starting off with here I actually have this letter holder that I got from Wilkinson's a few years back but they do do similar ones 
This is really handy to store notebooks in. So I just have my diary and then a couple of notebooks as well. How cute is this one? It's a sausage dog notebook from Kath Kidson. So, so cute. And then I have this post-it note holder with um, post-its in. This was from HomeSense again. I also like this to pop my phone on and I just have the charger cable running from the back and I just pop my phone to charge it on so it's really handy to have my phone nearby. Then I have this copper um, pencil pot holder. This was from the office section in Ikea and I actually sprayed this copper and again this is in my DIY copper video. And then I've just got lots of um, pencils in here. I use pencils quite a lot just to sort of roughly um, schedule things in and then I'll rub them out as well. So I'm kind of always chopping and changing. So pencils are always good to have. Then I have a couple of pens and things like that. Then this lamp is from Ikea as well and I just have a lip balm there. This surprisingly is quite bright um, considering it's only a tiny lamp but it's just really handy to have and it fits perfectly onto the desk. Then I have some washi tape in this one. Again this is from Ikea. There's another lip balm there. I'll go on to this um, in a bit because you can't see it because it's cut off but I'll share with you where that's from. Here I just have an empty candle jar again from my copper DIY video and this has just got paper clips in it. It's really handy. Um, a it's a really handy thing to have just to go to when I'm doing stuff. Then I have a couple of pictures. This Take Me to Paris picture um, I got off Etsy, I'll link the seller down below, she does beautiful um, prints, sort of slogan prints. Then I have a mini candle from Bath & Body Works. This was from um, HomeSense, I actually have a DIY on how I covered this in marble. Then we have another HomeSense find here with a candle in. Then this is from Ikea again and it just has clips in and things. Um, then we have my coffee mug and also another marble DIY is this coaster which I will link down below. I'll link the marble DIY video for that. Then this fits on my laptop, but before this laptop I had a bigger one and that still fitted on this desk perfectly. Um, so don't worry if you're worried if you have a laptop that this wouldn't fit. It still does fit, fit even if you have a slightly bigger one. And I think, you know what, this could also fit a big screen one, you know, with the unit and everything as well. So on to this notice board, Ben actually got me this for Christmas and it's really handy just to put photos or inspiration or quotes or anything like that. I actually have these magnets as well from Paper Chase so you can put stuff around the edge but this is from Tiger or Flying Tiger as they call it. I'm not sure if they still have it online um, but it's worth a look. If not, you can get something very similar that you could spray copper if you still wanted that copper effect. Lastly, I just wanted to show you where I keep additional notebooks, pens and post-it notes and things like that. I keep them in this IKEA Mom chest of drawers. I've shown you these chest of drawers before. They're perfect for storing anything, not just clothes. And I love the fact that you can buy the compartments to pop in them as well. So these are really great um, if you are wanting to store stationery or anything like that and you are stuck for space or you need um, different storage solution ideas, this is perfect. So I just have post-it notes, backup notebooks, pens and pencils, ribbon, washi tapes, stickers and things like that. And as you can see everything just fits really well and it's nice and clear so I can see everything as well. 
So guys, that concludes my home office tour. I really hope you enjoyed this. And give this video a thumbs up if you did and you found it helpful. If you do struggle for space and storage solution ideas if you have a small section to play with like me. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration. And if you missed my last video, you can go ahead and click on the picture link in the middle and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful start to the week guys and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye.